Hello, baby doll. So I have pulled my E-Hex, P-Hex liquidity. So there was a bug found in PulseX, and it's a bug that even PancakeSwap has, I think. It is, this code has been around for three years, and nobody has picked up on it, which is kind of very weird. So basically, the fees were not coming into your liquidity pool. So you're meant to be earning fees every day to compensate for the impermanent loss. They weren't coming in. PLSX was getting all the buy and burn. So instead of us getting the fees, that you're supposed to be making like $20 per day for some people, right? But you're earning nothing. It wasn't even coming in. I was looking at the coins every day. I'm like, that's weird. Where are all the coins going? It's going back and forth. So very unfortunate. People are now panicking. So we just what we have to do is you just go to your liquidity pool. So here's the thing. If you are earning INC, so I'm in this PulseX Pulse, that's okay because you're still earning the INC, the the incentive token to compensate. Okay, you we aren't actually earning the fees that we're meant to, but we weren't. All right. If you're in the old finished hex from Ethereum, e hex, p hex, this one, any of these, and you're leaving them in there, you're gonna have to withdraw. So you click on it, you enable it, whatever it should be enabled already. You go to withdraw. You've got to withdraw it out. It's not even in this farm. You should. I think you have to go to liquidity. That's right. You got to go to exchange. You got to go to liquidity, and it will be here. You've got to click on remove. Click a hundred percent. Enable it. Just withdraw your coins. Leave the coins there. They're going to deploy another PulseX, another updated of the code, and you will be able to join it again in the same ratio. Okay. So hopefully the ratios don't move. You've withdrawn it. We just leave the coins there, and then once it's re-added, we join them again. By the way, we will be doing this for every farm you're in because in the other farms, in the other farms, baby dolls, you aren't earning your fees either. But the fees aren't that much compared to the incentive token. See this APR? That's the incentive token. So the incentive token is the real juice, the extra boost, okay? So no one's really there for the fees because the fees don't really compensate enough as much as it is in, unless it's unique circumstances, okay? So I am still leaving it in in here until the migration is there. I think it's going to be a very short period of time. So most likely they'll deploy the contract and then just, you know, there'll be a certain day where these rewards go to zero for this farm and then the new one it will activate. So you've just got to withdraw it and then you just join the the, the other farm immediately. Okay. So you don't, don't, you have to panic sell. You don't have to do anything. Remember when you withdraw, you just pull out. Two sides, two coins, that's it, you know? Coin A, coin B, Pulse and Pulse X, or Hex and E-Hex. You just withdraw them, you live in your wallet, right? So for this, we just have to wait and wait for the code to come out. So Ricardo made a post just explaining it. It's just got the little code here. So um, it just mentions here as well, okay? Uh, you know, when the new pairs exist with the new logic, everyone can move over to them if they wish, or if they can stay where they are earning no fees, but you give more to the buy and burn. Obviously, we have to move over to the new one because well, you got to be earning the fees, okay? Because it, it, it impacts big, big. If you're going to be holding for a year, then you need that extra 10%. You need it, friends. You need it because that extra 10% is vital in year one and year two, because they will compensate most likely for the gyrations up and down of the risk going up and down, okay? On top of the intensive token, okay? This is very important, okay? So now that you've seen this, withdraw. You Just um, don't panic sell anything. No, don't have to worry about anything. We're just panic sell. It's just you weren't earn, earning those little fees. And yeah, it sucks. I wish we were earning them for the past two weeks. But hey, as long as it's figured out now, and we can move forward, and it will just continue as always. And just to reiterate, with these farms, we are in a a mindset of 12 months, 24 months, okay? We're going to be in this all of 2023, all of 2024. We're going to be in this as long as we can because you're going to be collecting fees, incentive token, volume comes in, goes up with Bitcoin and Ethereum, people come, they play, they rotate, they speculate, you'll be earning and compensated for that along the way, okay? It's a nice way to increase your bags along, um, and hopefully we'll get to expand, there'll be single side staking, etc. all right? So no need to panic and I'll see you soon.